Italian Catskill style dry flies by Mike Valla. We are up to fly number seven, and that is Queen of Waters. Queen of Waters, obviously, dry fly. There's a wet fly version of the Queen of Waters where we're only doing dry flies. And I've tied this once, and that was 30 minutes ago. And it did not look good. <laughs> so, so we're going to we're going to give it another shot. I've only uh, I, I only ever tied the the wet fly version um, up until 30 minutes ago. I never tied the dry fly, it's, and I can tell you right now, it's not easy. It's a toss up between the pink lady and this one, which is harder. You know what I mean? It's basically what 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 do you think is harder? A palmered body or uh, a double slip mallard wing. We are going to start out with this orange. It's an orange Danville. And that's because we got orange floss. So just like we did with the pink lady, I did it with pink thread at first and then I switched to black. That's exactly how we're going to do this one. Orange, then switch to black. And the hook that we're using is a size 10 Olcock. That's what we're using on every single one. Now the wing is a mallard feather. It's not a wood duck. I almost said woodcock. <laughs> make sure any of the short ones are not in there because it's just going to make life difficult for you. They all got to be the same length. I think that that is alright. You need a good wing but nothing like insane. Just a drop. Just one bar on the mallet feather more. And we're going to cut this right close to the back on an angle. And we'll bring this to the front and then we'll post it up. Do I have too many on? One, two, three. Actually, let's just do two. Yeah. So I do see some sort of issue here. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I pulled fibers from the wrong side. There we go. Two, one, two there. Lashes one, two lashes. Make sure you give that that wing like just a little bit of a wiggle to make sure the thread turns go down to the bottom. Just needs to be a little more upright. Much better. Now let's go back. Tail. Now, this 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 fly really should be like a dark ginger, but since there's three different hackles you got to put on here, you got to put the tail, you got to put the the I'm considering that a hackle because it's hackle fibers, and you got to put a palmer body and you got to put a hackle up here. They all got to work together. So if you don't have like all of the same color, you, it's probably better just to use all the same color. So I'm going to go in natural brown, so it's a little bit darker obviously than dark ginger, but at least it's going to match. But it's important to note that if you have all dark ginger, use it, because it's, it's the right one to use. I just don't have it. And to take off. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. So a good amount of tail here. Just make sure it's squared up. I'm just catching it. This one. Back 
to here. Now, I'm going to tie in the, the hackle first, the Palmer hackle. And we can do things a little bit differently with this. But here's, here's what I got. I got my dark, uh, um, I'm sorry, when I using dark ginger, I got my natural brown here. And I have it stripped off on one side. You see that? And we have to tie it in at the tip. It's another thing that's interesting. So you got to make sure that you got it tied in correctly here. And yes. So that's, that's just one turn. Then floss using this orange. This happens to be this happens to be silk, I believe. So we're just gonna be a little careful with it. And we're gonna tie this in. tie up mm, three turns. Click that. And then we're going to tie in our tinsel. Now this is gold tinsel. I'm using a mylar. It's a very small one. you got to use a small one. I'm using a mylar that just happens to be a silver on one side and gold on the other. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. i got to twist it up here. That's good. Just trying to tie this up nice and neat. Right here, we're going to switch to, um, yeah, we're going to switch to black. We're going to bring up a turn or two before the tinsel. That's usually how I like to do this sort of stuff. I, I like to have a turn or two behind it. And if we lose some floss, we lose some floss. It's not a big deal. So that's two turns in back, and then I brought it in front. I think that's okay. Just left it a hair long so that I can really tie it in here. Alright. Tinsel. Tinsel is... We need a bunch of turns here. That's good. This is even up here. Yeah, we'll do a little bit more in a bit. Okay, so now, remember we got one side removed, and that's the side that's got to be touching. Now you can see why now I put I put it in first because that first turn is right at the back, and it's going to allow me to hackle and even can even do, let's see how it looks if I do another turn back here. It's just going to start the hackle a little bit. Yeah.
but you need a bunch of turns of this hackle to really kind of make it look like anything. And a smart move here is tear off what you don't need. Because it'll catch when you try and tear it up, uh, tie it in. And when that happens, man, yeah, some things go in weird, weird directions. So let's just see if we can do this and not screw it up. That's good. Just bring it to the front. Alright, now we got our furnace. This is the same one we used uh, for the pink lady. And it matches, the brown matches, so that's, that's why I'm using it. And we're going to tie this in right here. We're just going to be careful we don't catch in anything that we shouldn't. I hear that Sam is on a phone call right now. Her office is right next to the tying room. Let's take a look here. We want to make this. Ooh, what do we got here? Yeah. Now, turns wise, I would like to get three turns on back here. Like this being the third turn. Mm, you see that, that, that wing collapse a little bit? That's always a problem. If you get if you try and get too many turns in, but I think I could re- yeah, perfect. And now we'll bring this back and we'll get one in really close. And, oop, we got a slit. We got a slit. So, it was just, it slipped on me here because the thread turns are a little bit sloped, so you can you can go back, put a little extra in, and then bring it back here. Just just take some some thread control. Trapping in anything. Alright, that's good. Now again. Do a bodkin whip finish. That's it. Yeah. Man, this thing is a busy flight. Now, I seem to be struggling a little bit with keeping this wing. All right. And this one right here. Yeah. All right, we should stop messing with it. Yeah, pretty big fly. But, I mean, it's kind of... So it's, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Alright, Queen of Waters dry fly. Alright, thanks.